Aragorn, son of Arathorn. That right to me? I can't say much, yeah. For those of you who know about Lord of the Rings, you, you're into that? I am, obviously. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what do you think? Comments down below. Whatever. Anyway, forget that. Let's move on to what we're here today. So you would have seen that um, Timmy put a post up on the social media just with the intercooler with VR46 on it. Just saying that it's coming down today. Well, it's here. This is the morning of the install. So we've got our van in the doorway, look. Yeah, our WRC one. That's just so that we can, you know, if we need to refer to that for, you know, to like memorize, I can't remember everything. And then we can just go so we can just like, that thing. oh yeah, yeah, that's where we put that cable or whatever. So anyway, on the bench here, we'll show you the van in a minute, but this is what's, well, as much as we can present on the bench to me. Yeah. So this is having the full shebang. So it's having the Steinbauer power module, complete with a unique, custom plate on the top of it, which is to go with the colour scheme. We're talking, like I say, we'll talk about the van in a sec. Left tank, pump, all the bits and pieces, boost switch, all the check valve, all the, all the plumbing. That's that side of it. And then we move on to the R, like custom hardware from Parallel, which they've done for us, which is, you can see it on our van. So that's the intercooler, you can see all the possible plate fitted and whatever, you've seen it before. So effectively, what we're going to be doing is just mirroring that onto this customer as he wants exactly the same. Some differences, which is good. Like the lid, you see our lid is just a little sticker, different colour scheme. So the crossword type, this is what we had designed for us from Paraloy. Took a while, they had the van for months to create it. So they created a, a huge intercooler, which is all flow tested and really efficient. Um, <coughs> the cooling package for the intercooler with the boost pipes to go with it, all right. We have two pulses put in it, one for meth, one for a boost tap, so one for the meth nozzle, one for the boost pickup, all right. I'll show you all that once we start doing it. That's the other lower boost pipe. Cross over pipe, as you can see there, look, on our van, there it is. So that's now, bit that mine's the original prototype one that they fitted when they designed, when they were designing it. So that's what's still on the van. There's no point in me taking all the need to, it works. So, but customers one, this is the um, the finished one. And then it's obviously dual tag, MJP and Pro. It's exclusive to us. No, you can't, you can't bring up Pro Alloy. You, you, for those of you thinking, yeah, I'll bring up Pro Alloy and um, ask, they won't send it to you. It's, it's, it's exclusive to us, right? Which is the way it should be. We put all the time and effort into it. Um, clips, crack it. Some like uh, sponge roll tape, which just means cushion it in case it's like a little bit close to certain areas. The ITG filter, which I'll show you, show you online later. And hoses, so whereas mine is just a normal MSRT blue and black in a mixture, again, doesn't really matter on that van. That's the prototype one, so it's, it, I might change it later on, but there's no, no real need, is there? You can customise it. So there's a massive selection uh, of hose colours. Obviously yellow for this one, because it's a Valentino Rossi van, and yellow and black is what the van is. So we've gone for that. Move on to the interviewer. <clears throat> now, it's really difficult to match colours. You can't really get that particular VR46 colour with hoses. It's really difficult to get that colour, because it's like, um, so what Parallel I've done is done a, a, you know, a one-off stencil for me which I thought was pretty cool for the customer to have. It complements the van because it's a, it's a, they're special, these vans, like mine, mine's a one-off. These were sort of like 50 of these, I think it was on the, on the Valentino Rossi ones, especially if you're a, into MotoGP and yeah, it's the van for you, isn't it? But they're great. Um, limited run, so it's quite unique. So what the Prioloid team have done is, as you can see, they put the VR46 stencil down at the bottom for us. As you can see that ours has got the MJP on the bottom. The, the front bumpers are similar on the VR46 to what's on my van. Mine's just got the extra extended bit down the bottom. Apart from that, it's a similar sort of bumper. All powder covered in satin black. So that's that side of it. Um, yeah, we've got a fair bit to do to me, haven't we? Yeah. So, you know, it's the, the, what takes the longest is wiring it all in, but 
and we won't go and test it, but that's not a problem. Anyway, so we switch around to the van, so you can, uh, there we are, look, see? So the Rossi edition ones, it's pretty cool, because it's got that at the side, look, looks really cool, because you can, it's only you stand back and then you see it, Luke 46, you see it as you stand, you can sort of like make it out now, look. Yeah. The six, but if you stand back, it's clever how they've done it. When I first saw one of these, when I was up at uh, MSRT, when they were building my van, I said, oh, that's cool, and I couldn't really make out what it, and then you stand back and then it pops out to you. It's really, really clever how they do it. But yeah, awesome. He's got the same wheels as what we've got on ours, but these are, these are the old Z, but these are 18s, not 20s. So we've been talking about it. He wants to put a big brake kit on the front of this, and then up it to 20s, no point doing it on an 18 in the room. But, um, so it's very similar, really. Um, similar sort of setup, different seat, same seat configuration, as you can see, as, so he's just got, which is ideal, he's got the two seats, he's got the same sort of seat configuration, different style seats, minor difference, got the sparkle um, seats and the rears are different, but the layout's the same, which is ideal. This is a long wheelbase, so this is an LS2, mine's an LS1, um, which is, you know, um, just, the, just the wheelbase really. LS or L1, L2, I don't know. I don't know. Who cares, isn't it? Um, but yeah, so the same thing, so the tank will go in the same place, down between, sit between the seats, we'll velcro that to the floor. Um, the plumbing's going to be the same. So it's, that's why we need our, you know, testing it on our van and knowing that it works. It's really neat. You'll see as we go through, we take some pictures and we'll do another video as we go through. But yeah, look, it's more coming in front of that to me. Do you see that? Oh, black top. Yeah. Cool, isn't it? You don't see very many of these. They say they're quite rare. Um, and I think it looks pretty cool. But Timmy started to take a pot of race. We've got to get the front end off. The bumper come off it. Um, all the top end's got to come off to get to the injectors for the stein bar, and then we'll put all the wiring through at the same time. That's what will take the time getting all that right. But once all this is out of the way, we've got a bit more room there then, Timmy, haven't we? Yeah. And then we'll just take pictures, and then we'll do, an, like I say, we'll do another video as we go. Um, which is quite important, this one, because it's not, you know, not going to be very. Look, doing a normal one, what it might be, Transit Custom or MSRT is cool. Having a VR46. Down here, he's traveled all the way down from Lock Country. is even more special. So, you know, we appreciate that, and uh, as we always do. So let's crack on, Timmy. We've got a lot of work to do, and then we'll come back to uh, soon if you was right. Right, so back onto the uh, next phase of the VR46. You can see that front end's off it. Hit the cooters off on the floor, pipe works off. So uh, Timmy's just starting to do the, well, the stein bar. Um, looms all on, which is the, Bits and pieces that we've got to connect up. Um, yes, yeah, so that part is done. We'll get all the hardware done first, get all that um, banged on there, and then we'll um, we'll do the most involved bit. And the bit that takes us the longest is going to be the wiring for the meth and the the stein bar. Um, so we, yeah, so we'll uh, we're getting there. We'll crack on. Right, still on the front. Indicator is all locked and secure. Looks super cool, doesn't it, Timmy? Yeah. Yeah, pleased with that. With the Peralo stuff, because this has been sort of like designed for us and they use, you know, our transit van to mock it all up. It all fits perfectly. So, yeah, really cool that. So I'm just mocking up the pipes as you can see here. Look, I'm pretty fixed on last, but I'm just mocking it up and getting it right. The one I've got in my hand here is, this is the coat side from the throttle. And as you can see, there's your two bosses, which shows you before. I've just popped on the, uh, the coupler there. You'll see it's a reducer size. Step down from that to that. It goes back to the original plastic one. And then we've got these two boxes to say, boost pickup, uh, the boost barb there, and the um, meth nozzle, size four in that, for this one. And that's it, so we'll connect all that up. But yeah, that's what it was. So uh, we're busy, so we'll give you another update too. Right, nearly there, Timmy. Viewers, what a day. Wiring is intense. Because uh, he wanted it all to in one hit. So with mine, we've done it in progressive. You know, we've done the stein bar, then we've done the um, the cooler package, uh, and then we've done the um, the methanol. This is all in one hit. Stein bar, methanol, cooler package, intake, the whole lot, and it's yeah, as you can see, really involved. So got the stein bar power module there. Look, we've got the lid off of it. What we do is we need to test it to make sure that the LEDs are doing what it should do. When, it, when you come up on throttle, they, they flash as a sequence, make sure it's all good. We set it up, a little potentiometer inside there. So, standard set at 12 o'clock. 
we just put it around to about one o'clock. You can change the aggressive, aggressiveness of it. Aggressive, aggressiveness. That's the one. Look at there in the end, yeah. Third time lucky. So you can go minus thirty percent, plus thirty percent. There's that from the factory. They're just set bang in the middle at zero, and you can go. But if you go too far with the potentiometer, make it too aggressive, it'll start to be too much. It'll want to start shutting down. So you've got to just find a sweet spot. But we'll find that they'll print out at one o'clock. It's one on. All right. So all we've got to do now is just um, the boost. Yeah, the, the boost feed, and we. Yep. For the meth. Get that done, then we'll fire it up. Check the sequence on that, which was all good. Get all the front end back on it. Um, yeah, it's on. See you soon. Right, just thought we would uh, show you the uh, what's going on underneath. Look, uh, the R46 looks really cool. Got the yellow hoses on now. All the uh, pipes up. It needs to be cushioned because that's the only place it can sit. So we've just got cushions there because the aircon. All up there. We've put the boost pipe, uh, the boost feed in. All done to mean it. Yep. Um, yeah, it's not a lot more you can see from here, to be honest. Uh, more of it's from the from the uh, from the top of it. Yeah. But yeah, ideal. So yeah, and, uh, it's not done. There's a mess up. Jesus. Okay. Where have we been here? That's half too eight long. now. Too long, yeah. Oh, yeah, Half eight. No time. Yeah, we're not fudgers. That's why you do it a lot faster if you wanted to. But um, cut yeah. corners. Yeah, could do. Yeah, it could be curbside builders. Yeah. Yeah. DIY Davey. Hmm. Anyway, so there we go. Look. So we got to give the hoses a little clean off. But there we are. Got the dual tanks on there. MVP Pro Alloy. Everything's all clipped up. Um, yeah. Everything's all on. If it was on, bed it all through like we said. Front bumper's on, stein bar is all up, all tested. Nice little plaque air, courtesy of uh, one of our technical partners. Partners? Nice. Partners, it's late, mate. It's yeah, I know, yeah. Um, Mr. Sticker, oh, Johnny, Johnny Sticker, over uh, Salt Ash. So he's very, uh, very kindly done us a nice little plaque lot in the same colour scheme, which all matches. Pretty good, isn't it? The, the R46, you can see it down there, look. It's very difficult with these transits because this is slightly different front bumper to what I've got. Um, it, it's pretty much impossible to get that, you know. Um, it'd be ideal if it was up a little bit higher. We're not to know that. I didn't have the vehicle here, so we just had to just like, basically go on the same sort of lines as what mine, where mine is. Um, and then just, just you see what happens when you put the bumper on, but you can still see it. You can see more of his than what you can see of mine, so it's fine. It's just an extra little bit to put on around it, that's all. So let's get the headlights in there, Timmy. Yeah. And then uh, road test time, yeah? Yep. I've got to do some bits on the side, trim and on. Yeah. Shall we? Road test to go, and that's it. Well, apart from a few more pictures of some. Yeah. Put this one next to the WRC one, pretty cool. But yeah, so it's all um, it's all on certain things. Under tray could be fitted back, the front trim, underside can't fit that because the obviously the indicator is in the way in it. And that's the, but yeah, all the looks back in, everything all connected up, scanned it, uh, any error codes cleared down. Obviously, we did disconnect the things and we got the mass airflow and all stuff like that. Yep. Um, yeah, but it looks pretty. Uh, customers been on a look as well, so he's pretty uh, impressed with that. I'm just going to take it out for a quick. Whiz around the block, and then uh, he'll be on his way. That's it. So we'll finish up soon. Right, guys and girls, we're just doing the finish up now. I've just been out and done a quick road test. Happy with it. This time, I was uh, doing what I'm supposed to do. The mess working, the mess not working when I want it, when I turn it off, so that's all good. Um, there it is there, look. So I'll switch it off, look. That's the mess off. Okay. And then you want it, switch it on. So the good thing is about that is it's not meth dependent. So it's an enhancement uh, for cooling, especially on diesels, you know, with the you know, with EGR and the DPF and CAT and all the carbon build up. So it just keeps everything, you know, just helps with that, keeping it clean. Um, obviously, it enhances performance as well. As I said, when you have velocity tuning, fine tuned mine. We got an extra 16 horsepower from the meth. Believe it or not, we did. 
and this is what Lee's going to be doing. He's going to whiz it across to Tommy at Velocity Tuner because it's the same setup as mine, and he'll fine tune it, and then he'll get the same um, final power figures as what, what mine is. What was mine made over 230 horsepower? So it's really impressive. Bearing in mind, don't forget, it's not uh, 230 horsepower is not a lot these days, but it is in the transit van, um, and the way that it loads up with the torque is really good. And plus, uh, you know, they're three ton over three ton vans so it's a lot of metal to pull around in it but anyway so that's the inside bit i mean these are great these vr 46s I really like them it's a really special it's only one of 50 i think it's number 29 this I must apologize for the wind here because when our garage is it's pretty windy down there in plymouth today and we thought we'd finish it up under the canopy because it cuts the wind back but it's just the weather's been absolutely horrendous to me in it yeah all day but this is a tornial Mine's a, they're both transit, so obviously that's a van, this is based on a tornio, which is what the class is, but it's not, it's the same, so my layout is based on this, so I didn't want um, the, you know, the, um, the bench seat in the back, I didn't want that, you know, um, the bulkhead, I didn't want it, it wouldn't work, work for me, so this, basically, this is what I've got, the same as this, but in a different, Different seats and sparkles, front seats, and all that sort of stuff. But these are brilliant. I do like these, they're pretty awesome. I'll, I'll jump out now, like, and then you can see what the. Um, we we'll always say, Oh, you don't run them in Star Wars, you better hear what it sounds like. But the two together, it's pretty cool, isn't it? Yeah. The first, it's the first, you know, the first VR 46 that I've had down in the garage, and the first one, I mean, fair play to him, you know, and he wanted it all done in one. It's the first time we've done it in one hit. It, that's why it's, you know, it's a, it, with mine, but in sections, this with a whole head, so that's why it's took a long time because it just does, you know, so, um, yeah, I'll quickly do a fire up to me. A few little blips, yeah? Yeah. This does have a sound box to me as well, but uh, it's not switched on. Yeah, it's So you've got your meth switch here a lot, so you want to put the meth injection on, there it is, we'll turn it off, turn it off. So if you're on the motorway, if you want to do a bit of um, a bit more power, a bit of cleaning, turn it on, keep it on too much, you'll end up rinsing through the meth because it'll it'll start coming in at about 1800 revs. Um, so you'll end up rinsing through it. You don't really want to be, you know, I tend to use it around town, short journeys, on the motorway sometimes, and then turn it, but the beauty is you can turn it off. So because it's not meth dependent so it's really really good so we all have a bit of fun whacking on but apart from that super duper yeah yep what deal all good got a quick check when i come back from real testing anyway yeah Make no sure leaks it's all good and um yeah so we're um we're ready to go all right here we are so it's all good a challenge to say the least i mean but there we are. So, usual thing, like, subscribe, hit that bell notification button. Um, uh, it'll open up a box in the top if the, for you who so don't know. Please subscribe, hit the uh, notification button, all, and it'll notify you of any new uploads. We've got loads of uploads to do. Timmy just does all that for us. He's going to be really, really busy. So, yeah, loads to come um, in the future. But this one, superb. All right, so just do that. You know, comments down below. I mean, if you'd like what you've seen us there, doing on this video then you know there might be some more vr 46 owners out there or r spec owners or whatever transit customs but it makes the odds what it is but we can do that that conversion to your transit and it well you'll find out when he drives home late um and like i always say he's gonna have a very exciting drive on the way home guaranteed All right and then we'll look forward to the feedback from him um in the next couple of days so there we are so we will, uh, thanks for listening and we will catch up with you really soon. Ciao.